to attend, parents may be surprised to learn that a warm, puffy coat may actually put your child at risk when they're in a car seat. Shannon Sims is live at the firehouse in Shorewood to explain. Shannon. Mike, it's puffy coats like the one I'm wearing that is the big concern here because it can affect the snug and support of how either the seat belt or that car seat harness may hold your child in while driving. Aubrey and Jason know when it's cold outside, little Roy needs to be protected. Sometimes he likes to rip his hat off too, but right? They usually not to wear in the car. Right, bud? Preparing him for the elements and the car requires a lot of layers. And even though he's all bundled up, child car seat experts say parents should avoid putting their children in thick jackets before placing them in car seats. It's really difficult to get the straps to fit properly and to provide the, the same amount of restraint that they're supposed to in order to work properly in the event of a crash. Typically, anyway, if you're going to be driving more than 20 minutes or, or you know longer than that, you're going to be running the heater. Aubrey agrees the added safety measures can make it a challenge when she's traveling alone with Roy, but she wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, it's not the most convenient. It's not, you know, comfortable necessarily, but it's uh, safest for him. Now, South Safe Kids, Southeast Wisconsin, strongly suggests using thin layers and using the thick puffy jacket to actually cover your child. Now, if you have any concerns or questions about your car seat, North Shore Fire here does inspections. Reporting live in Shorewood, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. Yeah, I got to keep the kids safe. Thanks, Shannon.